Here's a myth. Credit cards will always lead to debt. Well, I guess it depends. And here's why it depends. If you pay off the credit card in full prior to the due date, there's no interest. I ask this question to people all the time. If you use a credit card and you pay it in full by the due date, how much interest do you pay? And it's always the same reaction. They go back and they think, is this a trick question? Is Rondi trying to trick me on this? And then they're like, wait a minute, I don't pay anything because I paid it in full. Well, it's not a trick question. Uh, nothing. I'm like, exactly. And sometimes people get a little confused with that because of Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave and Aunt Susie, or maybe it's Uncle Susie. I'm not really sure. But Uncle Dave and Aunt Susie have convinced the world that credit cards are bad. I can tell you this. If it wasn't for credit cards, my business, personal business, would not be here today. I started it with a credit card and I maintain it with a credit card. And I use credit cards every single day. I've used a credit card every day for the last 16 years. And if it wasn't for my credit cards, there would be no Fortress University. Credit cards are by far one of the most valuable tools that you can have as a consumer or as a business owner. Having a credit card, it does not just lead to debt. It doesn't mean that you're in debt. Now, technically, I guess you are in debt. If you use your credit card and you rack it up, like I went to the dentist today and I used my credit card to pay for the cleaning, the x-rays and everything else. And it was um, $683. So technically, I'm $683 in debt right now to Citibank because I used my Costco credit card to pay for the dental work. And then I left the dentist and I went to Costco to get some gas for my truck. And that was like $98. So technically I added $98 to my debt. And then I left Costco and I went to the grocery store and I bought some groceries and I paid for the groceries with my Costco credit card, even though I wasn't at Costco. And it was surprisingly, and I don't think I could do this again if I tried, exactly $32. So I went there, I got some avocados, I got some water, and uh, I got some rain energy drinks. And they only had six of them. So that's all I got. And when it was all said and done, it was $32 exact. So today, $683 at the dentist, $99, $98 or so at the gas station at Costco, another $32 at the grocery store. Technically, Yes, I'm $900 or so in debt. That doesn't include any automatic payments. So is it a myth that credit cards will always lead to debt? Yes, because you don't have to use the credit card. Now, today, did I rack up approximately $900 worth of debt? Yes, I did. But guys, I have money in my checking account that if I wanted to, I could have used a debit card. But I don't use a debit card because that gives the criminals access to my checking account. And if I use my debit card, I don't have the protection that the Costco City card has. Case in point, my daughter loves this brand called Assholes Live Forever. And it's a clothing brand. And the dude is a complete asshole. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> a week before Christmas of 2022, I got alert. My daughter loves his stuff. I got alert for $100. I could buy a bathrobe, a duffel bag, a t-shirt, sweatpants, and a sweatshirt. And I think a hat. For five people, for $100. So $20 per person, this entire package. And it was like a lot of stuff. I'm like, I want to do it. They said, I guarantee it'll be to you by Christmas. I'm like, 100 bucks. It takes care of my kids and my daughter's boyfriend and my grandson for 100 bucks for Christmas. And they get what they like. Done. I bought it with my Costco City card. You know what this guy did? The guy that his company's called Assholes Live Forever. Here's what they did. They sent me one of the 20 different items that I ordered and paid for and a couple stickers that I did not order. Then when I emailed them and said, where's the rest of the items? They said, don't be an asshole. You'll get it when it comes to you. So I waited three months and it never came. So I did a chargeback through my city card. If I'd have done this with a debit card, I'd never got my hundred bucks back. So I did a chargeback with my city card. They then replied and sent proof that they mailed me a package. 
What they didn't realize is when you look up the tracking number of the stickers that I did not order in this little tiny envelope, it gives the weight of the package. So I was able to prove to City that they only sent me stickers. They did not send the bathrobes, the hats, the sweatshirts, the sweatpants, the shorts, and all the rest of it. And so I got my 100 bucks back. So this guy that owns Assholes Live Forever is a complete asshole. And if I wouldn't have used my city card, I'd be the asshole out of $100. But because I used a credit card, he's the asshole. And I got my money back. Okay. So technically, I'm $1,000 roughly in debt from my shopping spree today. The dental work, Costco, and Albertsons. But I could pay it off tomorrow. I could pay it off right now. If I took out my phone, I could pay it off right now. And I pay no interest. Now, if I don't pay it off next month, then yes, I'm in debt. And if you want to split hairs, I guess I'm in debt. Because I owe Citibank a little bit of money. But I'm using other people's money, OPM, other people's money to fund my lifestyle. And I'm borrowing money from Citibank for the next month for free. So I'll use a credit card every day for the rest of my life and I'll never use a debit card.